Hi, I'm Patrick, and I want to take you through my experience building a, a 2x72 belt grinder. These are the ones you see on many channels on YouTube and beyond. Uh, firstly, I want to thank your channel called Made by Dad for providing fee, free plans for this belt grinder. Uh, he's a generous rarity, as most people who make these are charging for the plans. What I've got here is 90% his first design. He has released an updated one, which 5% of that made it here. And I'll talk about the other 5% a bit later. Obviously my skill level is pretty low, so most of the things I'm going to show you are really to compensate for that. Probably none of what I'm going to show you is necessarily a better answer, just different and it does offer some advantages and disadvantages, so feel free to take all, some or none of this. Just to show you how well balanced this is, even if you're not right on the marks, it's still really good. This was my main issue. I didn't build the joint here very well. As you can see, it's got a lot of play. And when I tried it with a belt, it just ran off. One of the issues was the middle hole uh, on the flat was a little bit bigger than what it needed to be. And that was because a drill bit snapped when I was drilling one side and I had to drill in from the other side. And I don't think it was perfectly aligned. I was pretty hard to drill because I don't have a drill vise or a good drill press at the time. I had the entry level one pictured here. I have my doubts about how square that drill press was too. I plasma cut this line here then smoothed it with a grinder. The finish isn't great but it's reasonably functional. It was only the second time I've ever used my plasma cutter. I cut this next hole with it as well but finished that one with the rotary cutter bits in the drill. Took a bit of time but it came out pretty good. The longer one here I also plasma cut as I don't have a jigsaw. By the end of that I was ready for set to settle for functionality only so it's kind of messy but it works. The extra piece of angle iron here to keep the legs in line. If you notice from other clips, the bottom of the legs look almost exactly the, like the version 2, uh, but I did make them before I saw it. Here's the belt grinder running closer to properly for the first time. The belt's off-centre, off but consistent in its position relative to the wheels. This is using the two-axis arm I came up with. I had to guess the position while it wasn't running initially. The belt sitting pretty centre on the rollers. I added a loop that I could stick a small pinch bar or crowbar into so I could finally adjust it while it was running. If you got something useful from this, great. Thanks for taking a look. Here's a time lapse of me assembling it. 